Hello everyone, my name is Susan. Today I'm going to show you how to use RHB Futures GDS app. This is the first video. I'm going to show you how to download and log into RHB Futures GDS app in your computer. Disclaimer This presentation is solely for information purpose only, reproduction is prohibited. Okay, let's start. This is our body right here, RHB Futures GDS app. Make sure you got the RHB logo to get to the right app. We sometimes call it AES GDS as well. Okay, now let's go to download this app. Go to your browser. I'm using Google Chrome right here. You can use Firefox or Internet Explorer according to your preference and type trade smart T R A D E S M A R T and R H B click enter and you'll see rhbtradesmart.com probably in the first choice click on it you get to this page Go to the menu, trading platforms, futures trading platform. Make sure you get the second choice, futures trading platform, and go to overview of trading platforms. Okay, futures trading platform. Scroll down a bit, a bit more. Okay, you'll see RHB Futures GDS desktop application on the first choice. Click on the download button and you'll get RHB Futures GDS app in your computer. After, after download, you open up to this page, this first login page. Also, make sure you have the RHB logo right here to get to the right app. First thing, server. We're using the default one, the first choice. This is the one that we are using. Next, user code. Key your user code. If you are RHB client, your user code will be KH in capital letters and following by your account number. You can get your account number from your dealer. Next, key in your user password. If you are a first-time login user, you need to get your, your first-time login password from the call center. Okay, you can get the call center number from your dealer as well. Next, choose language. You can choose either English or Chinese and press login. After logging in, you'll come to this page. This is the settings that I like, so I set this uh, as the default layout of my GDS app. You, your, when you're a first time login user, it might show as a blank page, like this. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your trading main page. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.